How do you know how to choose the right color for your background? I'm Amanda Hilburn and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to help you to choose the right color for the background for your paintings. I've been painting a series of florals lately and I've been asked several times on my social media pages how do you choose the background color so I thought that would be a great topic for a little short tutorial if you can see I think you can see this okay these two up here this one has a green background this one has like a deep turquoise almost black background but it does have a blue tint. These three here all have the same background color. But what I want you to notice is that the background color is a different color temperature than the flowers. And <clears throat> this could be just this idea could be the same for just about anything that you paint. So choosing if you don't have something that has a, a distinct background, like let's say you're doing a landscape, what I want you to think about is the masses of color. So if you have a lot of space in your landscape that is blue, then you're going to want to add some accents that are a warm color. And the best way for you to figure out how to do this is a color wheel. So your color wheel is going to show you what complements each other. <clears throat> My throat is going crazy. <clears throat> what complements each other. So these are all cool colors and these are warm colors. Think about it like water versus fire. Cool and warm. And you can also think about it like with football teams. <laughs> because most of the time their team colors one is going to be a warm color and one is a cool color because they complement each other red and blue red and green um, yellow and gold i mean uh, purple and gold um yellow and blue so think a, a cool and a warm so let's say that you're going to paint you know that your floral arrangement is going to be made up mostly of pink a lot of pink so your background color is going to look best since pink is a warmer color it's basically red with a little bit of white then your background color is going to look better if it is a cool color because here on our color wheel red and green are directly opposite of our wheel so choosing green for the background is going to look good. If most of your flowers are, let's say, cool colors like blues, if you're doing a blue hydrangea, then you may want to choose a light pink. And another thing that I've seen that I don't want you to, to mess up and do is choosing just fully saturated color. I mean, you can do that if you want to. Art is subjective but if you want it to look a little more sophisticated let's say then you're gonna want to tone it down or lighten it up so let's say you're gonna you're wanting to do a green background you're not gonna want to use just green straight from the tube you're gonna want to mix a little something in there with it so for this background I use chromium oxide green mixed with a little bit of raw umber to get this color. It just made it a little bit dirtier, a little bit um, less saturated. You can also lighten up your colors and get a really softer look, but you'll still have 
If I wanted to do a really light green, I could just mix white with it and it would still have that cool effect with the flowers. So look at your color wheel and see what is opposite. If you're gonna paint blue hydrangeas, then you're probably gonna wanna have a warm background, whether it be orange or, and when I say orange, I don't mean just grab a bright orange. It could be a creamy color that leans toward an orange, or it can be, um, let me think of something, a burnt sienna, for example. It is an orangey brown, and that would work really well. You could lighten it up, you can darken it, but the fact that it's got that orange is what is most important. That's what's going to help you to get that contrast and get the look that you're wanting. So hopefully that was helpful and I would love to hear any more questions that you guys have. I love it when people ask me questions because that helps me to come up with ideas for ways to help you more. So if you have any questions about art or painting in general, you can, can ask them below in the comments and I'll do my best to come back and make a video just for you. I'll see you next time. Bye.